I don't gotta say it, but you know, he he's the boy that cried wolf. You know what I mean? Everybody here, who, who A B. AB's the boy that cried wolf. We've heard him over and over. I'm slapping this guy up. I'm stunting on him. He can't touch it. He can't do anything. You know, and um the I I wanted Broner to win. For once I was in the underdog's corner. I wanted A B to win the fight. And really, I want Pacquiao to win the fight because I want to fight Pacquiao, right? So I got a lot of controversial feelings in that. But I su I support A B as a as a young world-class fighter fighting a 40-year-old man that apparently he couldn't beat, right? But I didn't want to see that kind of Adrian Brown. I just wanted to, I, before the fight, pre-fight, I was encouraging, I was trying to encourage A.B. to show the world the A.B. that you guys used to say might be the next Floyd Mayweather. Once upon a time, he looked tremendous. And I thought, you want to talk about out of mind, out of sight? Who's A.B. today? About bullshit. Anyways. Did you talk to race. him about that? <laughs> we need more Keith. We ain't hey, seen him in two Keith, years. Keith, one more thing, Keith. Keith. How do you how do you clarify? You about that? You didn't him words no, but you know, I do I do no I no I did not give him words of wisdom yeah. to his face. But I do interviews like this and you know, I don't know how much he's in and out of it, but I was in his corner. I was in his corner, you know? And I, you know, he fought Sean, I wasn't in his corner. I'm always in Sean's corner till he's fighting me. You know what I'm saying? So for once he was the underdog. We all knew that the people throw punches against him. It's hard for him to win. All you got to do is keep your punch count up. He's throwing one punch at a time. But there was once upon a time where A.B. put hands together, you know, and I enjoyed the fight. I enjoyed cheering for him against Vargas. He 